I tell people, stay in your groups, know who your friends are. An advocate for the homeless in Oceanside telling people to stay seen and call for help if they feel they need it. This comes as police are investigating three attacks on the unhoused that left two men dead. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill brings us a call for action. It's very scary. It is disturbing and upsetting. The news of attacks targeting people living on the streets is startling for others in similar situations and local advocates. You can't sleep. You got to be where your surroundings, where we go. They attack people when they sleep in. On Tuesday, Oceanside police said they're investigating the deaths of two homeless men. They're also looking into the attempted killing of another person who was also homeless. The first attack, a stabbing that happened in mid-September. This past weekend, two other homeless men were found beaten to death. I tell people, stay in your groups, know who your friends are. Holly Herring's an advocate for the homeless in North County who also experienced homelessness. If you show up places for breakfast or showers every day, keep showing up because we want to see you. We want to see that you're okay. When you have a, some community and when you're visible, you're safer. Oceanside police say the department's increasing patrols in areas where unhoused people frequent. The department also says they have no possible suspects and at this point they aren't sure whether the incidents are related. It would be the uh, method and manner of the crime. Greg McCrary is a retired FBI profiler. I asked him what investigators would be looking for to tell if the incidents are connected. I mentioned victimology. We've got that. You've got a common victimology. But were they killed in the same way? Is there some signature aspect we call um, that would link these crimes together? Uh, a series of unique behaviors of some sort. As Oceanside PD continues its investigation. This is probably a really good reminder to people in leadership positions that this is the reality on the street. And when we don't have places to send people, they're not safe. And the answer to this is supportive housing. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. Oceanside's deputy mayor tells ABC 10 News the city recently opened its first homeless shelter with about 50 beds. The 2024 point in time count showed there are 361 people on the streets in Oceanside. In addition to homelessness, Ryan covers the Housing Authority and animal welfare. If there's a story you want him to know about, scan the QR code on your screen or email ryan.hill at 10news.com.